So we're going to start by creating a new composition. Then we're going to add a new solid. Hit enter. Then we're going to add elements 3D. Let's click on scene setup now. On scene, we're going to right click and import a 3D object. We're going to choose the nice. Now nothing appears, so we have to click on normalize size. Now let's switch the view from the material view to the mesh view. And let's duplicate this one. Expand this and let's hide this one. Expand this and let's hide this. Now let's apply materials. So I'm using Pro Shaders and Material Pack. Let's apply Chroma to the, the first one. And for the second one, let's look for wood. Let's apply dark wood. That's it. Let's hit enter. Let's go back to After Effects. So here we have it. Now let's go to group one. Then let's click on create group null and let's create a null for to control our object. So now we can control our object from here. We can change position as well as scale, rotation or from here. Now let's go to the render settings and let's look for the lights. Make sure that we are using the comp light in the glow we have to. Enable glow, change it to luminance, decrease the value to 0.2. And that's it, let's close down. We have to add lights, so right click new and add light. Gonna spot light, we're gonna choose the type of light and spot the color. We can change it to blue or cyan. Then intensity 600, 90, and 50. And hit enter. Now let's drag it up. It's more like this, both the canvas. And now let's animate our object. So we're gonna start by increasing the S for scale and let's increase the size of our object. Somewhere like this. I have to drag it down. Oops. Drag it down. Now let's click air for rotation. Let's add let's add a keyframe in the beginning. Move it somewhere like here and let's rotate it 180. So add this animation.
Let's add a keyframe in Z rotation. Go to the middle. Let's, let's put it to around 40. Let's go to the end. Let's copy paste the first one. So we have something like this. Okay. Now let's click on S for scale. And let's let's scale it to 100. So we have like this. Just position. You need to set S, change it to this, and then, and then move somewhere here and let's change it to 17. Let's click on the for position again. Let's add a new keyframe by clicking here. Move somewhere here and let's drag it up. So we'll have some telephones. Okay, so let's click here and click view. So we'll have all our keyframes, select everything, right click on one of them. And I choose easy ease to smooth the animation. Let's go to the graph editor. Let's select everything. Let's zoom in a bit so you can see. And let's drag it a little bit here. So the animation start faster and then slow down. Let's go back to our editor and let's see what we have. We might need to adjust the Z rotation. Let's right click here and create new composition. Okay, enter. We have to create a new rectangular. Make sure the anchor point is in the middle. Change the color to blue. Now let's click on S scale let's go to one second and let's add a new keyframe go back make sure to unlock this and let's turn this to zero so we have something like this you can make it faster by dragging this keyframe Okay. 
again let's easy is this Let's duplicate this one, change the color to dark blue. Hit enter. Okay, so let's drag this a little bit to the front. Animation is faster, so we have to slow it down. Okay, this looks good. Now all we have to do is to duplicate this one. Right click, recompose, and let's name it background. Let's go inside and here we're going to delay the ski frames. Now let's right click on project and add new composition. Change the width to 100 and the height to 100 as well. Hit enter. Let's zoom in and let's add an ellipse. Make sure the anchor point in the middle. Also, let's align it to the middle. So we have something like this. Now let's close it. Change the name to dots. Let's go back to our background composition. Let's add the dot here. Drag it up and align it on the top. Now in effects, let's search for reptile and add it to the dot composition. Now all we have to do is to increase, expand the right. As well as expand down. Dot is too big so we can decrease it by going here and hit S for scale and scale it down. So now we have something like this. Let's close this and let's go back to comp 2. Let's duplicate shape layer 2 by hitting Ctrl D, drag it above the background. Let's change the mode to alpha mate. So now we have something like this. Okay, let's activate the transparency so we can see what we are doing. Okay, cool. Uh, one thing I want to do is to go to dots and change the color to a little bit bluish kind of all right now let's go in background in one second let's add some rectangular tool let's create one here make sure anchor point in the middle let's hit P for position add a new keyframe go a little bit in the front and change the position to around 100 it's easy easy we have something like this. Okay. 
Now let's right click on ship layer, then drag and pose. Let's name it Rick. Enter. Now we have to duplicate this one. Duplicate it, right click, transform, then flip horizontal. And right click, transform, and flip vertical. So now we have this animation. Let's add text, change the color, the text. Let's increase the size, something around this. Can animate the text. So let's go to the beginning, like somewhere here. Click on S for scale. Let's create a new keyframe. Move a little bit and let's change it to. Let's add a new keyframe. Go back and let's change the first one to zero. Can duplicate this as well. Okay. Let's bring it down. Oops. Somewhere here. Okay. Here is what we have so far. Now let's drag the jet half tone that we created. Scale it up. Drag it to the right and let's add fill. Change the color to blue one. Let's get it up again. Let's move it around this. Let's put it to the right. And let's scale it to around 160. Let's add a new keyframe, go back and check. Let's check this. Now we have to Let's drag this keyframe to where we have a hole. Knife. Let's go in front and scale it down as our knife is getting smaller. So we have something like this. All right.
we have to adjust the timing of of jet appearing as the knives go up. So let's go back to background. Click on jet halotone. Click on U for position, and let's let's drag those keyframes like this. Let's go back now to comp one. And look what we have. We check. All right. Now let's add, let's go here, go to filter and add blur. Let's drag Gaussian blur to our effect control. Let's go here and let's add a new keyframe. Go back and increase the blurriness. Something like this. So we have something like this. Now let's do the opposite with our knives. Let's go here. Let's add blue, Gaussian blue again. Let's add keyframe here, go back. And let's increase the blurriness. Something like this. We are almost there. Now let's right click this empty spot and add new adjustment layer so we can add our glow. Search for Deep Glow. This is a, a plugin that I really like. It's premium, but if you don't have it, you can use the default one in After Effects. Let's go and drag it up. We have to decrease the radius to around 200. In input, let's increase the threshold. And in the threshold smooth, let's increase it to around 50%. Now we have this animation. There is a lot of glow, so we have to decrease the radius. Are almost done. Let's let's now duplicate the the knife twice. Select both and let's trim it around here. Choose the first one and let's drag it. Here. Do the same to the second one. Drag it around here. And we have something like this. So we have the problem here that our composition get trimmed on top. To fix that, we have to go to the composition. And then we have to click on P for position. 
at least add quick frame on the beginning. Let's go to the front and drag it up. Oops. We have to look our adjustment layer. Select this two. Select this and drag it up. So we have something like this. Now let's add the text. Let's type something like this. Change the color to white. Let's change the font to something more bold. We change the font to Monster Bold or even black. Increase the size. Let's decrease the spacing between the letters. Something like this. Drag it here in the middle. Make sure it's aligned in the middle. So we have something like this. And let's click P for position, let's add a new keyframe, go back and let's drag it down. So we have something like this. It's easy ease this animation. Let's do it the same to the other letters. Now what we have to do is right click on this and pre-compose it. Let it change this to letter one and enter. So we have now a composition. Let's duplicate this composition. What we have to do now is to drag the bottom one down a little bit. Then we're gonna add a filter, gradient ramp, drag it here. Now we have black and white. Let's change this to blue. And the light blue. So here's what we have so far. It's Choose these two letters and let's right click and pre compose them. One, enter. And we have something like this. Let's go inside this one and we have to offset the animation a little bit. So now we have something like this. Too much, we have to create spacing. We have to duplicate letter one by clicking on letter one and control D. And again. And we're gonna duplicate this one as well, three times. Now let's open the second one. Let's delete this two. Drag a letter two. Duplicate it. Drag the second one down again. Okay. 
Let's go to letter camp, the first one. Let's copy the gradient ramp from here to here. Now let's go inside and let's change this to L. Here's what we have. We're gonna do the same to the third one. Change it to X. Close it. Go back to letter comp three. Let's replace it with letter three. And duplicate it. Drag the button one again. Drag it to the bottom and let's paste our gradient run. Now let's add this. Let's look up to our composition. Now let's decrease this. Go to composition, then trim comp to work area. So we only have this. And there you have it. Thank <laughs> you. 